All right, Lou. So this is it pains me to admit this, but uh, very interestingly, you have a five point win streak going on, and uh, if you keep it up after AEW Revolution this weekend, you will be at seven points if all goes well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Explain this to me. If you are on a five point losing streak and you lose clothing, I mean, you have to add clothing like you had to endure. What happens when you start winning on a five point streak? Do I have to start taking off clothing? No, Lou, Lou, Lou. It, it's a podcast, not strip poker. Welcome to TFS Five Online, known as the Q Show Podcast. It's twenty four seven, Lou, and that's Ricard saying for the fourth time, "Happy birthday, one man band." Wish you could be here, but I hope you're having a great time. Yeah, and that's a one man band. Happy birthday for the Yay! fourth time. Yeah, oh, Batman. <laughs> three, three. There we go. And in this episode, we... And folks, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you something, folks. From the highest mountain to the lowest valleys and everywhere in between. We are the beast in the east. The best in the west. You are listening to TFS Pod. Woo! Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. In this episode, we will be talking about AEW Revolution. We will be doing predictions... This is a, uh, this is gonna be wow eleven matches. I think we have to go through. That's a lot. Yep. More than it. Yep. More than impact. Take that impact. Huh? How do you actually, feel about that? Actually, that's more than impact. Before they added a bunch of matches, I believe. I believe sacrifice went to twelve matches. What? Wait. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm we kidding. just recorded that <laughs> that prediction about a, a, a few minutes ago. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I almost had you there though. <laughs> <sighs> Oh man! All right, yes, folks. In this episode, uh, we'll be doing talking about AEW Revolution. But first, let me say the line that everybody, especially me, loves: Ricard, get the scoreboard. Okay, okay. So as I alluded to earlier in the intro, Lou, you are in the lead. Yeah. Five points. Yeah. Points place. Yeah. Uh, and tied for second, we have a three-way tie for second. It is myself, the one-man band, and Jay Few with one point apiece. And everyone else is at zero, but that might change because we got a lot of contenders. Yes, and yeah. For AEW Revolution, I have a lot of picks to read. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. There's gonna be a special one uh, episode here. Uh, actually, let's go. Let's go through that. What's gonna be the order for the predictions here on AEW? What's gonna be the order that we're gonna go through? Okay, so, uh, well, Lou, it, it, it's, you're in the lead, so you're going first. Yeah. Uh, then it's myself, and then the one-man band, then Jay Few, then the randomizer, then Big Al, and then Bogey. Wow, Big Al and Bogey added to the end of this list. Yep. Kitty table getting yep. packed. <laughs> it's the undercard. It's oh, the undercard. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Undercard. Already in the ring. <laughs> and already in the ring. <laughs> yes, folks. We've got the five people Ryback is going to be. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Remember oh, those remember days? That. Oh, God. <laughs> so-and-so from so-and-so, so-and-so from so-and-so. Let's go to commercial break. Go to commercial break. All right, so here we go, folks. Uh, yeah, we'll be talking about AW Revolution. And see, we always read it from the bottom to the top. And I don't think this match is going to be the first one. But is it? I hate that I have to go first on this one. The first match we're going to read off is going to be. Oh, oh, actually, yeah. Let me get. Let me get my. Let me get my. My actual notes here. The proper notes. The way I read this stuff right. Oh, uh, oh, here we go. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. Um. Uh, yeah, uh, Ricard, can you explain that AW is not either real AW or a revolution? Well, you look at my notes here. Explain to the folks. <laughs> Wait, what? AEW <laughs> <laughs> is not real, and there is no revolution. <laughs> it's, it's an old Silent Live 
Look, the only thing revolving is the wheel when it made those picks. Because it spins. <laughs> get it? Get it, folks? Get oh. it? <laughs> hey! Hey, yo! I'm here all night. All right, I have my notes. I'm ready to go with the 11th match. Going from the bottom to the top, which I don't really feel that this one will be at the bottom. But here we go. Yeah, I don't envy you on this one. Here you go. Actually, yeah. You see, in this case, oh, you see, this is ridiculous. You see, because I, I know we're from the bottom to the top, and I'm going to still stick to that rule. The first, the last, the, the last two matches you want to read are actually the pre-show matches. Um, but yeah, we'll just go. We'll just go through it. We'll, we'll, we'll go through the meaty stuff here right now. Here we go. Um, for the first match we want to talk about is going to be Hangman Adam Page, the champ, versus Adam Cole in a singles match for the AEW World Championship. I go first in this one. Oh, Here we go. Man, I don't approve of this. I don't know. But Lou, 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 let me save you. Let me save you something. Let me save you something. How about we go in reverse? And I say this with confidence because I know, based on my understanding, that you're still going to have to go first on this pick. <laughs> if we go in reverse. Oh, we do? Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You still have to go first if we go in reverse. Oh, we do? Yeah, just go in reverse. Fine, I'll read it from the top. The pre-show, Matt. No, wait a minute, no. What is yeah, well, Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, me, you, me, you, me. I get all the odds. I mean, oh. I get all the even numbers. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so I'll go first. Okay, so we're going to go the other way. Besides, what, what is this? Uh <laughs> A reverse pay per view? Yeah, let the, let's go with the interesting matches last. Make them make the listeners wait to hear our picks on the other stuff. Ooh, what I was we? just about to tell you something about that other match, but here we go. <laughs> I was so close. Hold on, let me adjust something here while we. <sighs> yeah, it's a it's a hook. It's to hook the viewers in to listen longer. Get it? <laughs> One of the like guys' it. names in this match is Hook. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hold on. Oh, man, here we go. Uh, hold on, I'm almost there, almost there. Just give me a second here again. Another minute here. Where is he? He's getting, oh. he's getting, he's getting his notes ready, folks. Oh, wait. He's getting his notes ready. I missed, we, we... I missed a match on my notes. Uh-oh. Where is it? Oh, no. I did miss a match on my notes. Oh, well, I'll enjoy this. This is going to be fun. All right, anyway, I'll go. I'll, I'll start reading. Here we go. Ready? Let's go with the pre-show match. It's going to be Hook versus QT Marshall. I go first on this one. Let me go with the prediction on this one. I'm going to say um, Hook is getting a big push on this uh, on, on AEW lately. QT Marshall, I believe the, the story is that he was training Hook, but then now he's sticking with his dad, which is Taz. So I'm going to go with uh, the crowd favorite here. Hook for the win. Put it in the books. Hook, Hook takes six for this victory. Who do you have, Rickard? Look, I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm not impressed with QT Marshall at all. So Hook, Hook gets the win, and yeah, like it's on the pre-show. QT Marshall. I, I, I have yet to see QT Marshall win a match myself when I watch the show. So <laughs> I don't know what his actual record is, but I have yet to see on pay-per-views. I've yet to see it. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so you, you're not... He lost to Paul White. <laughs> That's some BS. True, true. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. BS. Uh, All right, so who do you have again? Hook. Hook for the win. That's my pick. Put it in the books. All right, in the books. All right, so let's go through the... the uh, the one man band. Who, who does he have? We've got we've got five people submitting picks. I'm gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save everybody time. Lou, I know you. I know you needed a moment with your notes, but I hope you got your pots and pans ready because we have a consensus. Wow! Everybody picked hook. Everybody picked hook. You get a hook. You get a hook. You get a hook. You get a hook. You're gonna get hooked to this podcast. There you go. Hey, yo! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go to the next pre-show match, which will be Chris Statlander versus legit Layla Hirsch in a singles match. Ricard, you go first. Who do you have? Uh, I legitimately think that Layla Hirsch is going to take the pinfall in this match. Uh, Chris Statlander, 
for the win. That's my pick. All right, Chris Statlander. The is it the alien, the extraterrestrial? Yes, yes. That is she. She is out of this world. Out of this world. Yes. All right. All right. So there we go. You have that. Uh, I'm going to go on this one, and uh, I know they've been trying to build this one up to make it look legit. Layla Hirsch has a beef with her. I'm not buying it. I'm going with Chris Statlander for the win. Put it in the books. And now, what does uh, the one man band and uh, what does one man band have? No, 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 no. I appreciate you asking. Don't worry, I'll cut you off if, if we have this because oh, we're, we're going to see a lot of this. We might see a lot of this. I get the feeling. Um, yeah, here in the background, striking up the band, uh, rightfully so, because we have another contestant. There you go. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, those, it's the pre-show. It's the pre-show, uh, you know, not expecting any surprises. That's fine. True, 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 true. All right, let's go to, let's go to the show now. Let's go, we're going to have Jade Cargill, the champ, versus Tay Conti in a singles match for the AWTBS Championship. I go first on this one. And uh, looking over what they're doing with Tay, with um, I'll take with Jade Cargill, uh, she has a streak. She's been beating everyone up, and she's counting. And I think she's trying to go up to thirty or around there, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I think that she gets a victory. I don't think it's over for uh, for Jade Cargill. And Tay Conti, thank you for showing up. Have a seat. You're done. The win, Jade Cargill, for the win on this one. Who do you have, uh, Rickard? Uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, the name of the pay-per-view is AEW Revolution. You, you normally expect big changes. And AEW, for a promotion, has not that many pay-per-views. So you would think that there would be title changes on this show. Uh, and I'm leading that there. I was leaning that direction. But the more I looked into the, you know, how Jade Cargill's getting the the momentum. I think she's currently at 28 and 0. They might have updated it to 29 and 0. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But essentially, she's aiming for 30. She's got the open challenge, undefeated streak. You know, people like good long streaks. Uh, tempting, tempting to to go bold. Oh, oh. let me get that again. I have it, but I have it penciled in. I have it penciled in. Um, nothing against Tay Conti, and I would be okay if I'm wrong, but safe, safe. I want to go safe on this, so I'm going to say Jay Cargill maintains the streak. Oh, okay. Jay Cargill, okay. I see your, I see what's going on here. I see and in picking that, and in picking that, I have essentially guaranteed another consensus! Everybody else went Jay Cargill. Wow. <laughs> Not, yeah, I know. I don't like this. I'm not sharing my no. championship. <laughs> I'm already upset that I have to share with no, you. No, no, give it, give it, a, give it a bit, give it a bit, give it a bit. I'm, a, I'm already upset that I got to share the, the current championship with yours and the one man band's grimy little hands on my championship. <laughs> and the 24 seven title. Uh, 24 seven title. Uh, yeah. I'm a little bit upset about that. That's happening right now, but I don't want to. I don't want everyone's hands in here. Get out of here with that. But okay, okay, okay. Let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. It's going to be A-H-F-O, Andrade Nidolo, Isaiah Cassidy, and Matt Hardy versus Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, and Sting in a six-man uh, six man tornado tag team match. And this one, uh, see, who was it? I went, oh, okay, I went first in the other one. You go first in this one. Who do you have, Ricard? Uh, this is, I, I don't feel like this is difficult at all, and I'm tempted to to say that it would be interesting if you went against me on this, because it would be, but I'm going to go with Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, and Sting to get the win. Uh, Hardy family, whatever they're calling themselves. I don't know what the A stands for. I've yet to see what it stands for. Andrade? Uh, I, I guess it stands for Andrade, but... Whatever, A H F O is gonna lose, and uh, you know 
team team face paint and Sammy Guevara gets the win. <laughs> no, th- th- I mean that man with his uncle, the man with his dad, <laughs> his dad. His Darby dad. and his dad. Yeah. Oh wait, an old man with two kids. <laughs> oh. That's right, Sammy Guevara. So- He's a young guy, also. Sammy Guevara is really young too. Yeah. Uh, it's, it well, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I say Sting, Sammy Guevara, and Sting, uh, and uh, Darby Allen get the win. That's my pick. I'm All right. Very surprised that they don't. Win. Okay, okay. All right. And this one, okay. Um, I see that uh, Andrade Ilo has run in, has been attacking um, Darby Allen, I believe, and 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 he's interfered in some matches. Uh, I see a Cassie. I don't know much about. He's part of the Hardy family, right? Or no? Who? Uh, Isaiah Cassidy. I believe he's part of... Uh, isn't he part of Private private Party? Oh, Private Party, yeah. Okay, okay. But that's also part of the Hardy family, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 they are. Hardy okay. Party, as, as one man band would call it. <laughs> All right. And I don't know. I wonder if we're going to get a surprise visit on this, on this one. If we're going to have another Hardy in here show up. Which would be uh, oh, we heard someone else reference that. Are you going to... Could it be, Lou? Are you about to go bold? <sighs> no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Okay. I am going with the pick of Darby Allen. No, I'm going with Sting and his two kids. Sting and his two kids. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sting and those two kids. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, we know, even we know. Control C, Control C, Control B. We whoa, get it. We whoa, get it. whoa, 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 it's Yeah, not- I, I, I went with that pick, and you were like, "Oh, well, I, better, I better stay in line here." Here's the wait thing: wait until I start going bold. So wait until I start going bold. You're gonna be like, "Whoa, what?" Yeah, I know. Look on paper, as I see it, that's the one. That's the victory I see. But if the, if something happens to Isaiah Cassidy for some reason. <gasps> Then I get start. Then I'm going to start to get worried about this stuff, <laughs> because, yeah. But yeah, on paper, I, I don't I don't see that team as strong as the other team. So, all right, okay, all right, all right. There's a lot of history on the other side as champions, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Sorry. So, what does uh, the one man band have? All right, all right, Lou. Do you have your pots and pans ready? Not again. Nah, nah. Keep them, keep them, keep them quiet. We don't have a consensus on this. Oh. So let's break this down. The one man bands says Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, Sting get the win. Okay. J Few says Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, Sting get the win. The randomizer is going to disagree with all of us so far and say A H F O gets the win. So, boom. One dissension pick so far. What does Big Al say? He's in agreement with everybody else. Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, Sting. Get the win. Okay. And now, and now, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Is it everybody but the randomizer, or is Bogey gonna 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 go bold? He he's in agreement with us. Uh Darby Allen, Sting, Sammy Guevara, get the win. Five Wait, no, six to one. Oof. Randomizer has Ooh. a chance to steal the point and get the lead. So we'll see. True. We True. will see how that goes. That could be that could be a good a bold pick by the randomizer. Bold Yep. Alright, so let's go. Let's go to oh right. Wow, interesting. Interesting how I'll go in there. Alright, next matchup we're gonna have is gonna be Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, man wearing a mask as a dinosaur. Uh champions versus Red Dragon, Red Red Dragon. Anyway, Bobby Fish yeah. and Kyle it's, O'Reilly. It's, it's spelled weird. I, I agree, but yeah. Red Dragon, Red Dragon, I guess. Uh, versus the the Young Butts, Butts, <laughs> Young Bucks. Jesus, <laughs> the Young Bucks. <laughs> it's such a, that's so much disrespect Jeez. right there. I'm sorry, Young Puck. I'm yeah. sorry, Matt and uh, Nick Jackson. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. For the slip of the tongue there. <laughs> I apologize. All right, so yeah, there's going to be a three-way tag team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. Don't forget that to qualify for this match, um, the Young Bucks had to defeat other tag teams in a Casino Royale match on Dynamite, on the Go Home Show. But with a little bit of help 
of Red Dragon that had already qualified. They just showed up and 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 they were they were there for that one. So uh, they had, they helped them out a little bit out there on the outside. So yeah, they're happy with that. So I don't know what's gonna happen there with that one. But yeah, uh, in this one, um, I go first in this one. Yeah. All right. So for this one, I think that the Lucha, the Jurassic Express. I feel like they're still new as champions, and I don't think that they're ready to, 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 to take away the championships away from them. I think that they're still going to ride that because everyone loves loves them. They're the face team in this one because the other two teams are heel teams to me. And going on, on that rule, um, I think something's going to happen with Red Dragon and Young Bucks because there's been a little bit of friction there with, uh, with Adam Cole whenever they're all together in the same ring or in the same space. So... I'm going to go with Jurassic Express to retain. That's my pick. Oh. Oh. I don't know what that means, but Rick Hart, what do you have? You'll find out. You'll find out what that means because you just control C. Did you read my notes before this, before this show? Uh, no, I don't. I can't see your notes. You're in another planet. <laughs> I must go back to my home planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um. Uh, yeah, same along the same lines of logic here, uh, and, and I know. Don't worry, there's there's definitely not a consensus on this. You'll you'll see in a moment, but uh, yeah, um, Jurassic Express got the championships back in January fifth, I believe, mm-hmm. and have been newly crowned in my eyes. This is the first pay per view essentially that they're defending them on, in for me. So, two heel teams, one face team, face team's champs defending. There's te- teased friction going on between the other two heel teams. Mm-hmm. You know, the one heel team was added in because the other heel team got involved. There's too many combustible elements there. Go with the, go with the expected storyline, which is Jurassic Express, despite all odds, prevails. Boom. Jurassic Express gets the win. That's what I'm saying. I'm in agreement with you, Lou. Alrighty. Wow. Good. You're 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 in, you're in good company. Now what about the woman in bed? Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Take it easy. <laughs> uh oof. here we go. One man band, time to go bold. Uh one man band says Red Dragon gets the win. Ooh. New tag champs. Uh I wish I could I wish I could hear the logic. And I, I, I think I know where he's coming from. This is uh you know, th- this is this is a a newer team on on AEW out of the other out of the other two yeah. in the match because Young Bucks have been on there for a while. But we've seen them. Jurassic but we've Express, seen them before in other places. AEW originals. We've seen them in other places. We have we have seen them in other places, which is why we could revisit that. Possibly, maybe we don't know. But one man band, maybe that's his logic for this. I'm not sure. Either way. This could be a game changer in his scoreboard. So very bold, very interesting. I wonder. I wonder if he's seeing like what happened in Impact, where Jay White came out to help the Good Brothers. I mean, it, it, it <laughs> I could be anything. It could. It could be anything. It could be anything. Either way. Either way, we shall see. Now, let's look at the other picks here. Get ready, Jay Few. It's an agreement with you and me, Lou. Jurassic Express. Very, right. very, very interesting. Interesting company. Randomizer disagrees with everybody else because they say Young Bucks. New wow. Chance. I know. To me, okay, okay. All right, we gotta get we got a decent spread here. So, so splitting I mean, the herd right now. Get, somebody's gonna get a point. This is this is where this is where we separate the men from the boys here. Yep. Can't uh, take Big it. Al. Big Al is going to go with the majority on this and say Jurassic Express. And Bogey is going to also go with the majority. So we have, for this match, a 5-1-1 split. So it's five people picked one team. One person picked another team. And then one wheel picked another team. Yeah. I wonder how much of that that friction in that kit table there with... Big Al posting his picks first before Bogey, and Bogey copying it and just putting his name on it. That's my that, that's my theory right there. You that's your theory. That's I mean, my you know Austin what? I'm theory. looking. 
Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> you, oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. <laughs> Bogey, I know you're listening. We're on to you. We're on to your oh, game. Oh. We're on to your game. Ooh. Jeez, you know what? I'm not, wait a minute. I'm noticing something else. <laughs> what the Did heck? Jay, they all copy Jay Fuse. Did Jay Fuse? Jay Fuse picks up the same. Oh, gosh. Oh, all right. Well, we're just giving it away now, but whatever. But wait, they're That's also insane. copied. They're all, they, they, they copied us. We didn't give them our well, picks. We explain <laughs> it. We, we give you reason behind it, not just whatever. Oh, well, we don't know what their reasoning was. We don't. Could you imagine if they all get a perfect score? That would just be embarrassing. Uh, but whatever. 5-1-1 one, one split. Very interesting. We'll see how this plays out. All righty. Here we go. Okay, next matchup we're going to have here, we're talking about, it's going to be John Moxley <laughs> versus Brian Danielson. Yes, yes, yes. In a singles match. Uh, Rick Hard, you go first. Who do you have? All I got to say is, wild thing, dan, 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 you make my heart. Come on, it's John Moxley, man. Uh, Daniel Bryan, I love his work. Uh, he, he provided, he prov- well, Brian Danielson. Get it right, let me get it right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian Danielson, excellent wrestler. He's at that stage in the career where he should be getting people to look better. Uh, I feel like he put he put a lot of, effort in making Hangman Adam Page look good as champion, he should do the same for John Moxley, who is slowly but surely re-entering his name in the uh, main event picture, I think. So give him a win. Give John Moxley a win over Brian Danielson. That's my pick. All righty. Uh, my turn to pick on this one. And this is a difficult one for me because the storyline going there is that – Brian Danielson wants to form a faction of like being older guys, teaching up new guys how to do things in the business and helping them out. And Moxley doesn't want to do that. And um, I don't think it's a stipulation that if he loses or anything, he has to join him. But I think it would, it was something that I think that would happen. Like he's like, okay, I beat you. Now you have to follow what I'm saying. And that's why it's kind of tough for me to go with this one. Because I, I like I, I want to see something like that. Brian Danielson, John Moxley showing all the 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 new people, young people in the business uh, how to do things. It's amazing. Um, that's why this this one hurts because I'm thinking that he'll still beat him, but then he'll join him in in a weird in, in a weird sense. Like, okay, I beat you, but I'll, I don't want to join you, but I guess I'll have to. I'll join you because it's it's, it's it looks it looks better for business, I guess. So I'm gonna say John Moxley with the win on this one. So write it in there. Can I just interject? Can I just interject, Lou? This reminds me of Elimination Chamber uh, t- <laughs> 2021. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I-, I predict Kevin Owens wins, but he lets Cesaro get the number one contenders <laughs> match anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You fought pretty good. Yeah, you you could win. Yeah, yeah you go in there. You go in. <laughs> <laughs> Again, as you can see, I run a different kind of booking show. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, John Moxley disagrees with Daniel Bryan. He wins, and then he says, you know what? I like your idea anyways. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I also I also kind of find the idea of, oh, older guys teaming together to show younger guys something. I'm just, that just sounds like main event mafia, but they, from Impact. But instead of uh, trying to take the titles, they're just like, yeah, we have all the experience. Yeah, I think I think I think that that concept was just a way to get Moxie and Daniel Bryan to have a confrontation to then build towards the match. That's my reasoning. Okay, and uh, I think I think we're in good company here, Lou, because you said John Moxie. I said John Moxie. Oh, my, my dog! My dog says John Moxie. That's interesting. Wow, unofficial, unofficial pick there, uh, John Moxley. Uh, we heard there. <laughs> yeah, my. My my dog my dog says John Moxley. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a real John Moxley fan. Uh, but guess who else picked John Moxley? The one man band. We have three picks for John Moxley. Okay, and this this might be the the make or break moment because here we go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna group them all together. The kids table. Here we go. It is the <laughs> the big the big kids versus the 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 pre-K table. 
Randomizer, J. Few, Bogey, and Big Al have all said we're wrong. Brian Danielson gets the win. Wow. There's the split. There is the split. That's right. There's the split. Mm hmm. All righty. Wow. All right. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's go to the next matchup. Number seven. It's going to be Chris Jericho versus Eddie Kingston in a singles match. Um, I like their promos. They've been tearing up each other, and these promos really good. And bring up some really good, fun stuff. Even when they were had once they were in Connecticut, they had some really good lines. Um, I go first in this one. And I'm going to tell you something. You may not like my pick. But you're going to take my okay. pick. You're going to take my pick. <laughs> Okay. I think that uh, Chris Jericho, as you know, as even though these are older guys and they've gone, they both gone different paths. You know, one has been in big time name everywhere. The other one's been big name in the Indies. And even though he took a loss against uh, CM Punk, Eddie Kingston, which I think he got tired or something. And later on, I heard that he got hurt. Yeah, he had a, I don't know if it was a shoulder or or, or an elbow injury or something like that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go bold, a little bit of bold on this one. Hold on, let me get the can. Eddie <laughs> King Sten. Eddie Kingston for the win on this one. Oh my gosh, that's not bold. I'm going bold. That's not bold, Lou. You know, if that's bold, then I'm going bold because I said Eddie Kingston too, and oh. I didn't copy that. That's in my notes. <laughs> I can, you can't prove it. It's a podcast. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm on to you. <laughs> so I guess you have Eddie Kingston, huh? Yeah, no, I did have Eddie Kingston because wow. Jericho. Come on, Jericho doesn't need the win. Yeah. All right. So okay, <sighs> so now we know your pick. <laughs> what is the one man band? That? One man band is in agreement. Oh, come on. <laughs> he picks Eddie Kingston. Lou? I I thought I'm going the other way in this hold one. On, hold on, Lou. Hold on, Lou. Hold on, Lou. Hold on, Lou. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. What? Do you have your pots and pans? Oh, come on. Because you're not going to need them. Oh. Jay Fu said Chris Jericho. Oh. All right. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The randomizer tips the odds back in our favor because it says Eddie Kingston. I don't know if having the randomizer on our group is, oh. is a good thing, but, you know. It is what it is. Uh, but we're going to need the help because Big Al and Bogey both said Chris Jericho get the win. So we have a three to four, three to four split. Yeah, three you mean the J-Few, Big Al, Bogey pick? Yep, J-Few, Big Al, Bogey, yes. Yes, we already gave it away. They all have the same picks. Oh, my God. <laughs> so buckle up, folks. <laughs> They're either going to win or not. <laughs> there we are. There it is. All right, so I went first on that one. Let's go to the next one here. Put the page here. All right, uh, and you go first on this one. And here we go. This match is going to be ooh, it's going to be Keith Lee versus Orange Cassidy versus Powerhouse Hobbs versus Ricky Starks versus Wardlow versus. Now in this one, it's either Christian Cage or Ethan Page, depending on the winner from what's going on on Rampage. Uh, that's going to, going to be happening after we record the uh, after this recording. So it's one of the two is going to be in the match. Yeah, and uh, this is for the face of the Revolution ladder match for a future AEW TNT Championship match. So, Rick Hardy, you go first. Who do you have? This is this is tough. This is tough because. I'm very certain no one else is going to do this pick. Uh, Keith Lee, recent, recently signed, you know, pretty big deal. Big star name. Cool, cool. Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks, eh, you know, they've been there. Wardlow, he's definitely been there. AJ MJF's uh, sidekick, bodyguard, whatever you want to call it. Ethan Page or Christian Cage doesn't matter to me. I'm not picking them. Because I'm picking freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy to be the face of the revolution. Because, come on, he's got the rebel look. It's the face of a revolution. You know, 
let's shake it up. This doesn't lead to a pay-per-view match. This is an AEW Dynamite match. Give someone a chance in the main event. Why not make it someone who's an AEW, you know, original? So Orange Cassidy, that's my pick. Wow, okay. Interesting on that one. All right, Mm -hmm. and this one, I'm going to go on this one. And, yeah, Keith Lee, new face. I don't think he's going to get that push yet. Orange Cassidy, he's been very quiet lately. Very quiet lately, unless except for this match. But I still don't see anything yet with him. Powerhouse Hobbs, uh, he's just another big a big muscle out there that they haven't done much with him yet, I feel. I mean, he did have a CM Punk match, but really? Is that, is that what your, your big moment is? I don't, I don't see that yet. Um, Ricky Starks, not sold yet on that. Page or Christian Cage, not yet. I'm not sold on them yet. But I am sold on Warlow, so I'm gonna go with Warlow will be the will be the face of the revolution ladder match for a future AW TNT Championship match. Warlow, wow, Warlow, wow, that's crazy, that's crazy. We've got we've got the big kids, we've got the big kids split, yeah, and the under the undercard is unified. That's <laughs> all right. What? Of course, they, have, they all copied Jay Fuse's pick. Yeah, I'm giving credit to Jay Fuse. <laughs> he did submit him first. You are correct. You... All right. We have the we have the chat. <laughs> That's yeah. proof. But all right, all right. Here we go because because it's still it's still interesting. It's still interesting. The one man band, the birthday boy himself. Happy birthday! Once again, happy birthday, one man band. Wherever you are, I miss you. Yeah, I'm Batman. <laughs> uh, one man band says, "Face of the Revolution, got to be Keith Lee. Keith Lee is one man band's pick." Ooh, okay. We have a three way split so far, but get ready because J Few, the Randomizer, Bogey, Big Al, all four of them picked Ricky Starks to get the win. What? Ricky Starks. Really? Yeah. I don't see it yet with Ricky Starks. I don't see it. What I don't know I what they're just, seeing. I don't I don't know what I don't know what they're seeing. I think they just saw JFU's picks and just hit the two buttons. Even the randomizer did it. Even I know and the randomizer normally normally goes different than everybody, but you know, it's just one of those things that came together for them. Very interesting. Alright, alright, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Let's go to the next matchup, number nine. Oh, well, this one's going to be an interesting one. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Here we go. Britt Baker, DMD champ, versus Thunder Rosa in a singles match for the AEW Women's World Championship. I go first in this one. And I got a surprise for you, Ricard. Because the dentist is out. The Rosa is in. Thunder Rosa will get the victory in this one. That's my prediction. Oh, my gosh. I don't believe this. Get the paint. Please get the paint. Get the paint. Get the paint. Get out of here, Lou. What? No. I, no. I, I, I kid you not. If it wasn't for that if it wasn't for that face of the Revolution ladder match, I would think that you were just, you were just reading my notes here. <laughs> Look, I said it. I've said it. Me and Woman Band said it because me, me and Woman Band, you know, we, we, we kind of see it. I've said it for a while. He said the same thing. We, we, I've said it on previous prediction shows. If you're not named Thunder Rosa, you're not going to be the one to take the, the title from Britt Baker. And the time has come. Britt Baker is fighting someone named Thunder Rosa for the championship. Britt Baker's losing. Thunder Rosa, that's my pick. Wow. We are, we are in agreement, you and me, Lou, again. I guess I guess that, that face revolution is gonna be the make or break right now. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, between you and me, apparently. What does uh, the one man band have? I, I alluded to it earlier, so get ready. He said Thunder Rosa also. Oh. All well, right. Prep yourself because we've got a four we got a four three split. Oh. No, no consensus. No oh. consensus. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 no consensus. Lou, what are you doing? You gotta wait until I say the word. Oh, oh. 
We've got a four to three split. We got a four to three split, folks. <sighs> Lou, you, me, one man band, we said Thunder Rosa. Well, Bogey, J Few, the randomizer, and Big Al all said Dr. Britt Baker. D M D retains four to three. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right. Good. Good. At least, at least no, no one can be accused of copying anyone from the kids' table to the grown-ups to the in-ring section for people coming entering the ring with their music. All right. So let's go to the next match. It's going to be for our tenth match of the night. It's going to be CM Punk versus MJF in a dog collar match. Ricard, you go first. Who do you have? Um, it's a bit. This this one's a bit tricky for me. Um, I'm conflicted on this pick. This this could cost me a point and and possibly the show. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the familiar. It's safer. Even though, even though they're, I think they're one and one against each other. This is the tiebreaker match. I'm gonna say CM Punk wins over MJF. Gimmick oh. match, whatever. CM Punk. What That's the my hell, pick. man? Really? Really? Yeah, really, really. Yeah, yeah, Miz, really. I'm thinking I'm going out here with some bold pick. Saying CM Punk, and then you pick CM Punk. Well, why don't you change your pick? You know what? <laughs> I'm not. Just for that. Ah, <laughs> damn it! Damn it! I almost had him. <laughs> I think Warlow is going to feel very happy from where his where position is. And I don't know. I don't know. They've been teasing that something of a change there might happen. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay with CM Punk. That's my pick. Wow. What does what does a one man band have? One man band is in agreement with us. He says CM Punk. All right. Uh, and and it's gonna it's it's close it's close because because you're not gonna need the pots and pans though. Oh. This this could I'm looking at the point I'm looking at the score here. This, this could be the night. This could be the night that uh, randomizer gets the win from all of us. Oh, they've been going. They've been going weird. They've been going crazy on this because JQ went CM Punk. Randomizer is the odd one out. It went MJF. Wow. And then Big Allen Bogey went CM Punk. So we have a six to one split. Oh, okay. What heel? What heel? <laughs> but yeah, six to one. This wow. could be the randomizer's night, or it could just end up being embarrassed. <laughs> Don't mention WrestleMania night one. Well, mm-hmm. Night one, night? I know, I know. I, I have it in mind. Oh. Lou, this is this is your chance to get the triple crown early on in the year. Two, I'm going to be an old man, months. and I'm not never going to forget that WrestleMania night one. Not for the wrestling, but for the prediction of a bunch of dice. Night two. Sorry, no, night two. Night two. Night, night two. Night two. Night one was actually okay last year. Let's let's not let's night not two. bash the wrong the wrong target. I mean for the dice winning. <laughs> for, for picking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get you, I get you. I'm gonna I'm gonna be an old man in my in my, in my uh, rocking chair. Uh, back in uh, twenty <laughs> twenty one. A rocking <laughs> a pair of dice beat three of us. <laughs> We made predictions we knew we watched it. And a pair of dice beat us. <laughs> Forget that dice. That dice has to go to the Hall of Fame, which means a file cabinet somewhere. Oh my god. You know that, right? Oh man. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I, no, I, yeah, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go. We're at the main event. We're Last at the main event. one. Main event. Last one. It's gonna be Hangman Adam Page, the champ versus Adam Cole, baby, in a singles match for the AEW World Championship. And this one, I believe, oh, is it? I go, right? Yes, you go first, Lou, like I said. 
Damn it, Ty. We still end up in the same place. We still end up in the same spot. Otherwise, I wouldn't have agreed, have agreed to this. Damn it. If not, I would have gone with happy. I would have been happy predicting the hook. Or <laughs> Deep Marshall. Yeah, you would, have, you would have been happy copying my pick is what you're saying. What? No. Yeah. 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 That's right, listeners. Call them out in the comments section. You hear me right now. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. All right. This is a tough one. As I was saying before, we changed the order of it. We still ended up here. Um, yeah, Adam Page, champ. Uh, I don't think his reign is over as champion. I think it's it's this, this is a very. It'd be interesting if Adam Cole would win it because he comes in, he has a faction already there. You know, with when he when he when he was there with um, with the Young Bucks in there for a while, and then when then when the Red Dragon came in, it got really interesting. And I think it would be really good for uh, for AW to have him as champion, and uh, you know, running things for a while in AEW. But I don't think it's time yet for Adam Page to give up the title or to lose that title or to get beaten by anyone for that title. So I think Adam Page will retain and be your AEW World Champion. Adam Page, who do you have, uh, Ricard? Well, we've got a we've got a real battle of the atoms here. Adam's gonna win. Yeah, that's for yeah, sure. It's it's not a, it's not a good day in the Adams family. <laughs> oh my god! When two of their when two of their beloved family members are fighting each other. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, let me let me give you a concept here, or why an explanation as to why I don't think, even though. Even though I, I did say that Adam Page strikes me as the type of person who's more more compelling in the chase than he is as the champion. Okay. Um, I don't believe he's going to lose. And, and the reason is we just left the era of uh, Kenny Omega where he was a top dog. He had, uh, he had his mouthpiece. He had his goons. Yeah. We had all that stuff. We had all that stuff. He had he had a bunch of championships. We don't need a repeat of that. No. We don't need we don't need a, a faction that holds all the belts. Yeah. Or or a guy that has all the belts leading a group. I I say have your loner. You know, which Adam Page, he's been backstabbed by friends already, which is why he's just like, "Oh, you know, I'm the loner. I'm the loner champ." mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Keep it, keep keep that going, keep that going. When when it was Jericho, he had the inner circle. When it was uh, Omega, he had the Good Brothers and Bullet Club, basically. Um, Adam Page, your loner champ, in between the in between loner champ, just like John Moxley was. Yeah. Uh, keep Adam uh, Adam Page his champ. It's a revolution, but let's let's not let's not get too crazy here. Uh, and I, I didn't predict Red Dragon would win in the tag match, so uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna predict that Adam Cole wins, but his his buddies from NXT uh, Undisputed Era don't get the tag team titles. I'm not gonna predict that. So Hangman Adam Page retains. That's my choice. All right, that's Hangman. my pick. Okay, so we're not getting an NXT two two point over here. No, no, we're, the, the AEW prides itself on being different. So let's let's see if they could. Put their feet to the fire on that. All right, all right. Then what does the one man band have? Everybody all right. Do. So this is an interesting. This is an interesting observation of mine. One man band strikingly went against the grain and said Red Dragon would win the tag titles, but is gonna say that Hangman Page is gonna win. And 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 for the sake of avoiding calling, getting an audible, let me verify this because it, it does strike me as odd. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Let me see the original picks one more time, just in case. Bum bum bum. Just in case. Let's see if he uh, it was consistent with yeah. the picks. Yeah, just to make sure, because I don't want to. I don't want to say he said. You know, they both they both have the name Adam. For all we know, maybe one of them. Maybe. Oh like, like no, he, he said it. He said it. Yeah, yeah. He said Hangman Page. He did not write Adam anywhere. He said Hangman Page, so you hear right, Hangman Man Cole. did say Hangman Page. Yeah, he didn't write Hangman Cole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I predict I predict they'll each win half the championship. 
All right, all right, Adam Page. Okay, and what does uh, JFU the Wii uh, randomizer? Sorry, randomizer. Uh, Big Al, uh, awesome theory, and uh, Bogey have. All right, so we've got a. Uh... No, no, no pots and pans. Uh, no I'm getting it ready. No, 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 no. We do not have that because we have a four to three split. What? All four of them. All four of them. Predicting new champ. Adam Cole. What? Again, I don't get it because they predicted Jurassic Express retains. Wow. So either they 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 they're just saying, oh yeah, one one retains, one doesn't. See, and it's different uh, in AW because AW gives you what you want, like as matches wise. I mean, we, we definitely got we definitely got a lot of matches to look at, so we'll we'll see how this plays out, but. We got we got a light a decent spread here. We got a decent spread here. I have a sneaking suspicion the randomizer might win. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh no. And and they will have cost you, Lou, especially you. The the early trifecta. Oh. You can win the triple crown within March, w- within the third month of March. Yeah. You can win a point for all three by the third month. Oh my God! Please. I can't believe... Three within three. No, you know what's even worse? What? You will be tied with the randomizer. Point. Oh! And I... No! 